G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Alright, we're going to harvest a few pigs today. Um, now the wording I use is going to be very deliberate. Um, there's certain terms that I can't use. Uh, and I can't show the process. Not that I would show the process, but I'm going to walk you through the process in this first video. Um, yeah, I, as I said, I don't want to show the process. And YouTube's not real friendly on you showing the process. So... I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, I've got a book here that I can show you some pictures out of and I can walk you through it. Now, our first picture is the hog and what you want to do is desensitise the hog. You want to uh, take it to the point where the hog's not thinking anymore. Um, now, you can use... In the old days, they used to use a stunning maul. Uh, you can use a captive bolt device. Uh, you can use a non-captive bolt device. Uh, which I'm not going to say because that is bad on YouTube. Um, and nowadays the commercial piggeries use Electro to desensitise the pig. And that basically causes a cessation of any neural function. So the brain's no longer active. After you've stunned the pig um, and stopped that neural, neural activity, you then want to go through and stick the pig. Uh, this is a process called exsanguination, which means removal of blood. Um, and this is what actually causes the cessation of life. You want to get a knife, um, you come in at the breastplate, you come in 45 degrees. You then move the knife forward and you should get a flow of blood from the jugular from that cut. Here's some better images of the vascular system. As you can see up here, where the rib cage ends, that's where your cartroid arteries come up. You've also got your brachular arteries coming out there. And the cartoid arteries are what you want to sever. Now, it looks different in three dimension, doesn't it? This is why you want to bring your knife up at the angle at 45 and then bring it forward. These cartridge arteries come up and they run along the spine. So they're protected in along the spine. And the only way you're gonna get them with the traditional throat cut is, is you cut all the way down to the spine. So it's a very tricky cut doing it that way. Whereas coming in from the angle and then bringing the knife forward will cut the apex here. You can then move on to uh, dipping and scraping, if that's what you're going to do. Today we're going to skin um, by cutting between the dew claws on the hind leg. You expose basically the Achilles tendon and you can use that to hook through the gambrel. You then move on to splitting and in our case we're going to be skinning as well. And the removal of the insides. So after we've been through that process, I'll join you back. Um, we're gonna chill the hog overnight, let it cool down. Once the meat's firmer, it's it's gonna be easier to work with. We'll then break it into primals and then work those primals. I'm gonna do um, two ways of breaking into the primals. I'm gonna do the European method and also the American method. I'm here in America, so we'll do the American way. And yeah, you know, once I've got the primals, then we'll move on to what you can do with them. So that's it for this part. As I said, it's it's very careful. It's very carefully worded. Um, I'm showing you the process, um, but I don't want to show too much. Um, as I said, I wouldn't show too much anyway. But the rules of YouTube means I can't show too much. Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next part, which is going to be breaking down the primals.